All right, guys, here we go. We've got some of them from Pirate Life. Geez, they're pumping out a lot of different beers. I think I've had this one already. I don't know if I did a video. Easy to look it up, but I you know, could be tossed looking up old shit. Let's go fresh. Earl Grey IPA, 6.8. When I saw 6.8, I said, that's more like it. Not 6%, guys. 6.8 for a proper IPA. <laughs> I reckon I had a, three IPAs today. One was 7.2. I thought that was lovely. That's the Hawkers. And I had a hazy today, believe it or not. It's called Goat. I just don't get confused with the goats, the mountain goat. It's a Queensland beer from Hornet. Is it Black Hornet? Those guys would make a beautiful double IPA, but it was a hazy. I have that today. I didn't do a video. I went to the Spitz group. We do a few meetups during the year with all the Spitz, and you know, I started off with just a few of us. And now there's, I think 96 said they would come today. It's 96 dogs. Uh, I think we had 50 last Christmas. I reckon there was. I reckon 80, 90. Because people come and then people go, so a bit of a crossover. All right, guys, I don't know. this is pretty amazing because this one's made with Dilma, and that's a Sri Lankan company. So this video, I'll, um, I'll just mention me and my mate Sims, he's going to Sri Lanka for a month. Lucky bugger. I'd love to be doing that too. But yeah, this is uh, for you, you, Pete. But the Dilma, you'll be drinking a bit of this over there, I reckon. You're kidding. Wow. You definitely taste the bergamot that they put into Earl Grey, which is a herb. This one's quite floral. It's quite nice. Mmm. You're getting that flavour. Like, I, I love a really nice quality Earl Grey. Nice, fresh. And a little bit of sugar in there is good too. A lot of um, Sri Lankans like to put a couple of sugars in there. But even if you put carnation milk, no sugar... Oh, yum. Really nice. Anyway, that's the Pirate Life Dilma join up marriage. No kidding. I don't mind it. I haven't been to Sri Lanka, but it's a Buddhist country. I've eaten plenty of their food. Been to quite a few of the Sri Lankan temples in Melbourne when I was a monk. And they'd come and eat at our temple and they'd have Sri Lankan people bring them and bring food. And, you know, so we'd be eating Sri Lankan food there. We'd be eating Sri Lankan food in Lao temples and Cambodian temples. And we'd be eating Sri Lankan food, of course, in the Sri Lankan temples. And it's spicy and it's similar to Thai food, a little bit different. The curries are a bit dry. We're, a lot of Thai curries are pretty watery. Really, you know, runny, juicy. I guess that's for the heat. You couldn't have a thick curry every day in a filthy, stinking hot country. It is. It's filthy hot sometimes over there. You just, you don't want to be eating thick, rich, creamy thing. You'd rather be having a soupy curry and sweat your head off. So I'll get to Sri Lanka one day. I should be going with Pete. Anyway, not to be done. Pete and I have done a few countries together already, so that's fine. Done a bit of Australia together. You know, Thailand a few times. Quite a few times. All different places. Bangers. You know, we did Phuket together. Pung Ha. Suratani. Koh Samui. Others, Hat Yai. Uh, oh, yeah, even went to uh, Ko Chung on another trip. And, uh, you yeah. know, 
potato a couple of times. Anyway, so yeah, we've done plenty of travel on like Vietnam for a month. That was a big trip, you know, from the south all the way to the north, mostly overland. And that was a big adventure back in uh, the early days, 93, 94. Pedro Tai, he's got a good channel up. He's, he's breaking his teeth, you know, he's just started off. He hasn't got that many videos, probably got 30, 50 maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, he's going well. They're getting better. And he's off travelling. He said, fuck it, I'm going. So good on, good luck to him. I've done, you know, I did a lot of travelling when I was younger. And some people didn't. They did a little bit, but they concentrated on whatever. You know, work, family, both. Um, I'd concentrate on travelling and didn't really stop until two years ago with COVID. So we'll be back in soon, I reckon. It's all going to change for the for the best, let's hope. It's all going to fall in the hole, this stupid bloody bullshit. Lockdowns and crap and travel and what? Vaccine passports, you fucking kidding. Anyway, I can try to take away our freedoms and our liberty, but it's not going to fucking work. Sorry, guys. All right. Well, that's a Dilma, the Pirate Life combo. And they've done a good job on that one. I'm enjoying that. 6.8. It's starting to kick in after having three other cans. They're all around 7%. That was lovely. All right. Cheers, guys. I'll leave you with that one.